Um, hello everyone, this is Repuncture with uh, F1 2014 uh, career mode. This is season two, race number four, the Chinese Grand Prix. And we're going to get ready for qualifying one. But first, we will take a look at the setup we'll be using for China. Here is the alignment. Our engine, we're still using our first engine. 1154, 1, 16 for the balance, 49, 51 high pressure, and 4 3 wings. And here we go with qualifying one. And we make it out. Uh, made it in 11th place. We are not exactly great at uh, China, but uh, we. We can find some speed, but over one lap we're not very good. But we'll go to qualifying two here. And here we go with our qualifying two lap. Great job. We're through to the shootout. As you can see, we made it into qualifying three. In six, just behind our teammate. No real surprises. So we'll go to qualifying three. And here we go with our lap. We've done one lap and uh, it's gotten us into 10th as usual. But we'll go to the first lap here or first corner. I mean, we don't do this corner very well very often so that's is this is usually where we lose all our time is uh, in the first sector here but we're green so we're, we're doing a little better this time but we we hit the uh, rumble strip on the edge there and it kind of spun us for a little bit using uh, some of the grass there I definitely played with the uh, the suspension to uh, get more uh, corner and grip and more traction, and the uh, five four seemed to work out best for speed, and then and then corner wise it seemed to be very good. So that seemed to help seemed to help out a lot, quite a bit. I think last season we used a lot more. I think we used like 1177 and we were having trouble doing the uh, corners but this time we're doing the corners much better. The Ferrari could be a slightly better car than the Force India that we had last year but I think our setup has a lot to do with it. But we're going to come to the end of the lap here. And we did not improve. We did a little better on our lap, but still, it was only good for 10th. Our one lap speed is uh, apparently not very good at, at China. We're a little disappointed. Wanted us to qualify 7th, but we weren't able to find a few more tenths to move ourselves up. A little bit further on the grid so we'll just get some ice cream afterward and we'll see if it's okay we'll go to the race we did some R&D testing but the uh, part failed so we'll take a look at our tire strategy now we're gonna start on the options on lap 17 we're going to change that from option to prime and then we're going to move it up to lap 39 and change the second stop to an option stop which will give us the option to change the primes if the tire wear is is bad and here we go we're going to roll out to the grid 
We're getting the whirly bird. They're stealing our TV. They're folding their arms in disgust because of our qualifying performance. And here we go. Lewis Hamilton on the pole. Our teammate in fifth. And then there's us in tenth. Our engineers don't want to talk to us, and here we go with the lights. And the lights are out for the start of the Chinese Grand Prix. Looks like we're getting a fairly good start. We're going to pass a button here. We give a little touch to Botas. We're going to try to weave our way in between the cars here. We go by Vettel. Now we're going to go around our teammate. And we're up in the fourth. Well, that was easy. At the end of the first sector here, we're just behind Rosberg, but we uh, catch that corner again and slides us a little bit. Using a lot of the grass there, we're gonna smoke the grass. But as I said, China is not one of my greatest tracks, but we're getting a fairly good start here. We're, we're using uh, all the track and more in the beginning here. <laughs> With the uh, little higher fuel load, it, it's, uh, you have to change up where you brake and turn a little bit. But we're going to go down this long straight. And our teammates behind us again. I wonder if uh, this race will be like the uh, last race in Bahrain where he was just following us for, you know, 38 laps until we made a mistake. We're coming to the uh, start finish, but no one's going in the pits this time, so there's no incidents. So we're going to finish the first lap in fourth with our teammate just all over our rear. We're going to move ahead to lap the end of lap four and Vettel has actually gotten around uh, our teammate and he's uh, thinking about going by us. He's going on the inside here. He kind of dives it in but we, we kind of fly on the outside and then we, we're going a little we're getting a little touchy-feely here. We're kind of still side by side, but then he kind of gives up and we pull ahead. So we're nice. We're having a nice battle with Vettel here, but then not a whole lot happened after that. So we're on six, lap 16. Our tires are actually really dead. So we're going to come in and change the primes. Now we did that extra lap on the option tires and qualifying, and the uh, this uh, lap 16 was. Uh, very obvious our tires were very gone. <laughs> there we go. Good pit stop from our from the Ferrari crew. Well, let's see where we come out. Looks like we're going to come out in the eleventh. But we're gonna move ahead here to the to the end of the lap. And then the next lap there's just a big train of cars coming in. Our teammates in. 7th, 6th, oh there's Vettel, he's actually jumped us, but we're going to dive it up since he's still got some cold tires and we make it back up into 5th. Now we're going to the next, end of the next lap, and Magnuson, who made his pits up and now we're back up into 4th. Not a whole lot happened after that, and we're going to lap 34. Our teammate has gotten around Vettel and is behind us. He's going to go on the outside, but then he hits us. And he takes off his wing. I, I didn't know where to go. We were, we had the kind of the inside there.
and now our, our engineer is telling us that uh, our teammate is now retired because we blew up his car because he rammed into the side of us. But now we're going to move ahead to lap 39, which is our, our scheduled stop. The primes uh, didn't uh, wear out very fast, so we were able to make it to our scheduled stop. So now we're going to put the option on. And it looks like some cars are going by, but there must be lap cars that will have to lap again. But we're going to come out in fifth position. Now we're going to move ahead to end of lap 40. Into 41. Botas is in the pit. And we're going to pass him to get back up in the fourth. But as you can see, there's only 17 cars running now. There's been uh, quite a few incidents, and we took out one car, our teammate. But Lewis Hamilton has won the race. Magnussen is about uh, three seconds behind us. He's been kind of slowly catching up to us at the end here with, as our option tires have uh, started to fall apart. But I don't think he's going to be able to make up that three second deficit unless we do something really stupid. But we're going to just keep it on the track and just get her home. We cut the corner a little bit there. This race was uh, fairly interesting in the beginning, but then cars just seemed to drop out like everywhere. So I don't know if there was just mechanical. This is like the first time that like a bunch of cars have dropped out of my career mode. They were just like uh, dropping like everywhere, and I don't know why. It could be because uh, maybe because of the uh, Alonso running into me while in that uh, first corner, I'm not sure. And I'm not sure what we could have done with that. Uh, we're going to take out the cone there because we're thinking about the ice cream. And we're going to come across the line. In fourth. We're pumping our fists because we're happy with our, our performance. All right, well, we get 12 points, but Lewis Hamilton wins with Rosberg second, Ricardo third, Magnussen behind us, and then uh, Vettel. And there's uh, all the DNS, uh, our teammate. There are five did not finishes. Let's take a look at the driver standings. We're still in sixth place, but we've caught up with our teammate quite a bit since he didn't score any points because we we took him out. He, I mean, he ran into the back of us. And uh, but Lewis Hamilton is uh, leading. And here we go to the constructors. Ferrari still in third, pulling out a big gap over Williams. And we're not too far away from from Red Bull, but with Alonso not scoring any points, that kind of uh, dampened our constructors' uh, hopes there. But that was the Chinese Grand Prix of my F1 2014 career mode of Season 2. If you like, please give us a, uh, a like and subscribe, and we will see you guys again. Goodbye.